I am back with some more mommy tips and some more mommy talks. But today I've got my mommy, Inger Dunn. This is my mom, y'all. She's got feet for the gods today. But <laughs> we're going to be talking about how to overcome postpartum. And I couldn't think of anybody who was more qualified to talk about this but my mom. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be great. Get your pens, get your notepads out because you just never know if you may deal with it after having a baby. So before we get started, do not forget to subscribe. Click that button that is going to be to the right of your screen. Click it, click it, click it now before you even start watching the video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to share, like, and leave comments down in the comment section below. Okay? Thanks so much. Overcoming postpartum. Featuring Inger Dunn, my mommy. All right, ladies. The period after you have your baby can be an exciting time. It can be a joyous time. But it can also be kind of stressful and overwhelming at times. And if you find yourself feeling more saddened or more overwhelmed the majority of the time, you could be slipping into postpartum depression and having postpartum anxiety. So that's what we're going to be here talking about. My mom has some great tips. So let's get started. Tip number one. So the first tip that I would give you is talk to someone. Mm -hmm. So many times women go through these things, but they keep it to themselves. Mm -hmm. They never really express mm -hmm. what's going on because they think they're crazy or they think, I don't want anybody to know that I'm having these thoughts about killing my baby. Mm -hmm. um, but the thoughts are real. Mm -hmm. I went through that. I suffered through that. But I'm the type of person, I'm going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I told my mama. I told my sister. I told everybody because I wanted help because this wasn't normal. And I knew that I wasn't crazy, but I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm going crazy. Mm -hmm. But come to find out I wasn't you know that I was not alone that mm -hmm. it was postpartum and I was able to talk to people and they were able to share with me yeah I went through that then I began to realize oh, okay so this must just be a part of having a baby so the first thing that I would say is make sure you talk to someone be mm -hmm. transparent be open mm -hmm. share with someone what you're feeling and what you're going through number two I would say seek medical help. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we feel that, especially when we're Christian women, that, um, you know, that maybe our faith isn't there. Maybe I need to trust God more. Maybe I need to pray more. And all that is good and well. But at the end of the day, you need to seek some medical help. It is yes. nothing wrong with that. No. They have medications out there that will help you get through this period. Mm -hmm. And um, I say definitely speak with your doctors. Talk to your gynecologist. Speak with your general doctor. Um, I have a great physician. I have a great general doctor that's really in touch with me. So I was able to express to him what I was feeling and what I was thinking. And he assured me that I wasn't crazy. I wasn't um, going crazy. That this was just a part of anxiety a part of postpartum and he really helped coach me through that so I say seek medical help if they give you medicine take the medicine yes it is okay yes take the medicine take it the way that the doctor tells you to take it mm -hmm. it's perfectly fine mm -hmm. God has given us these great physicians with all this wisdom and all this knowledge mm -hmm. and they know things that will help us get through this period in our life mm -hmm. so number two is seek medical help if they give you medication take, take your it. medicine number three I would advise you space your babies mm. um, I had my first child when I was 20 and three months later, I found out I was pregnant again with her. Okay. <laughs> three months later, that was too soon. My body did not have time to heal. My emotions did not have time to just relax and take a break. So I encourage you space your babies at least two years. Mm -hmm. They say two years is good mm -hmm. um, for your body to kind of get back and, mm -hmm. you know, your emotions kind of settle down and everything. Mm -hmm. So definitely space your babies out. I know a lot of times we want to have them and get them over with mm -hmm. so we can still be young. Mm -hmm. All that's good and fine, but it'll take a hit to your body. Yes. Your body will really suffer from that. And that was one of the things that I did not know. Mm -hmm. You know, had I known that, I would have probably planned better. But, um... I didn't know that, so, you know, I suffered through it. God brought me through it, and I'm so grateful, and that's why I want to share with women, space your babies out. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to have them back-to-back. -back. Space them out. Take some time. Take a break. Allow your body to heal and get back to itself, and then um, plan your next baby. Mm -hmm. So, number three, space your babies out. Hey, she done took over. I don't even have to say <laughs> nothing. I'm standing here like I'm a guest. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> she done yes, took yes. over. No. I told y'all. No. This is it. So we're gonna, we have six do's and six don'ts when dealing with postpartum depression and or anxiety. 
Number one being, create time for yourself. Oh my God, yes. A lot of moms, when you become a mom, especially if you're a first time mom, you're gonna become obsessed with your baby mm -hmm. and obsessed with becoming a mom and obsessed yeah. with all the responsibilities of motherhood. And sometimes you can forget about you. Yeah. So just remember to make time for you. Give the baby to grandma, give the baby to your husband, yes. give the baby to whoever, and you go take some time for you. I don't care if it's just go running up to Kroger and go grab some groceries. Do it for you. Just to take a breather, take a breath for a moment, and make some time for you. Two, it's going to be make sure that you exercise. Now, I'm not a big exercise person. I did not deal with postpartum, but I know that they say it can be a stress reliever and it can be a yes. mind um, relax, re, uh, kind of a, re, a relaxer for some people. So try to exercise. Go take a walk, even with the baby. If you get, get a stroller, take the baby on a walk. Just try to walk, get some fresh air, and just try to exercise when you can. Number three is make time to rest oh my god oh my gosh it's gonna be it's gonna be tough with a new baby because you're with the pumping or with the breastfeeding and with the just the whole schedule of new mom mm -hmm. rest is very so important be, is, yeah but yes. it's so important so to get important rest. so important to get rest so just make sure that you make time to rest take your naps during the day if your husband's off make sure that you give him to your husband or to baby daddy Give him to, to them or whoever's there to help you so that you can take a moment just to rest. Yes, and let me say, rest is one of the ways that our bodies heal. Yes. So it is very important, ladies, get your rest. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you have to do. I don't care what you don't have to do, mm -hmm. okay? It'll be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you rest because a lot of times this is what can send us into anxiety. Mm -hmm. I know I, I struggle with anxiety, panic attacks, but one of the things I know that when I get my rest, mm -hmm. I can manage them, I can control them. But if I overwork myself and I don't really get my proper rest, there are more um, to come on. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you, make sure you get that rest. Yes. Four, maintain a healthy diet. That is key. That's, a, that's another thing that I don't Very do. Key. That I don't do and it's terrible. But maintain a healthy diet. Try to make sure you eat your fruits and your vegetables. Yes. Make sure that you're eating, period. Don't become overwhelmed with the, with the mommy stuff and not forget to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner make sure you have all your all your meals and just make sure you're maintaining a healthy diet five resist isolation mm. do not be away to yourself do Don't not do um, be in a room somewhere crying by yourself Don't and nobody it. knows what's going on because you're gonna really send yourself down a negative slope and you don't want to do that like my mom said earlier talk to somebody talk to somebody get around people get yes. around your family and maybe yes. that's why I didn't struggle with this because my family's at my house yes. every day and we was laughing we was talking and it just kept me excited and happy so make sure you get around people stay around people stay around positive people that's gonna make sure that you're laughing and, and, and not um, slipping down that negative depression slow correct and if you don't have create you a great support group yes you need a support group yes I'm um, to help you during this time mm -hmm. so if you don't have one or you know find out in your local church if they yes. have women yes or maybe your neighborhood find out create you one you yeah can create there are, there are people that love you and there's people that care about you yes. create you a support group yes whatever you do don't isolate yourself no. do not do that no. because that would just cause you to spiral downward make sure that you're talking make sure that you're around people this is the time to be around people mm -hmm. and make sure that you have a great support group yes and the last one is to breastfeed if you can if you're more if you're a mom that is able to breastfeed breastfeed because mm -hmm. I, cause I hear that when you breastfeed you release those endorphins that are the same endorphins that are released mm -hmm. when you have an orgasm which is going to make wow. you excited it's going to make you happy so make sure that you're breastfeeding staying on your schedule because that's going to help and also it's just cuddling with your baby just spending mm -hmm. time that's just going to make you feel good so spend time with your baby and breastfeed and the don'ts if you feel that you are experiencing symptoms of postpartum depression and or anxiety one scary stuff scary stuff not just horror films or scary movies but i'm not one who can watch the news exactly. um i get overwhelmed by hearing about all the crime and all the stuff that's going on right. with the black lives matters and all mm -hmm. the all that stuff um in charlotte all that stuff overwhelms me and if you just had a baby and you're one like me stay away from those right. kinds of things stay away from a lot of facebooking because there's a lot of stuff going on on facebook anything that could possibly trigger negative thoughts or any type of um scared feelings or emotions stay away from it yes okay two an over scheduled life 
Do not over schedule yourself. You already are going to be overwhelmed with just all the new mommy duties that you have. Mm -hmm. So do not over schedule your life. I know people are going to want to see the baby. People want to come and it's no, no. You have a schedule, um, visiting hours, visiting times, and then cut it off so that you can have time to rest. You can have time to put the baby down. You can have time to watch TV. You can have time to just relax and not just over, be just moving, 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 moving all the time. Do not yeah. find yourself doing that. I agree. Set boundaries. It, it, yes. I, that just goes under setting boundaries. Make yes. sure that you set boundaries for yourself, for your baby, because, you know, people will overwhelm you yes you know and then as a new mom you'll feel like okay you know well, I don't want to tell them no mm -hmm. but no learn how to say no like yes. I said earlier make sure you get your rest mm -hmm. because you need your rest because that's you're gonna need your strength so and that all comes with just setting boundaries mm -hmm. self-help and then those are healthy boundaries mm -hmm. and it's okay mm -hmm. yes um, three negative thoughts we all have them wow. and I, and make sure that you watch my video click that link up there that's gonna that when I talked about um, fears of first-time moms Sometimes you can bring on live negative thoughts, like just fears right. of, I'm a new mom, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't want my baby to die. Thinking about SIDS and sudden infant death. And those, those things can just send you on a downward spiral. Yes. So stay away from negative thoughts and anything, any just anything negative, period. Try to continue to set your mind on positive things. Yes. And um, just re rethink those things. Love on your baby. Be around your family. Be around positive positivity as much as possible. Yes. Because, and that's another way that anxiety, you can bring on anxiety. Yes. is by negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways that um, your anxiety or your panic attacks will start. Mm -hmm. is by thinking negative. So, um, you know, the Bible says, what th think on positive things. Mm -hmm. Think on good things. Mm -hmm. Wholesome things. Lovely things. Um. So you want to, as much as you can, put your mind on those things. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to help cut down on that negativity and yes. those feelings of anxiety, those yes. feelings of, of panic. That's going to help cut down on that. Yes. Four, we've got get rid of the unsupportive people. You need supportive people. <laughs> cut it. Cut, cut, them. cut them loose. Cut them. cut them loose. I don't care if they're your best friends from high school. Cut them. I don't care who it is. Unsupportive people who don't understand and get rid of them real, real churchy folk. Like my mom said, who don't, who don't, you think your faith that, no, this is real life and yes. it's real emotions and these are real hormones that we deal with. And if you don't have people around you or you have those people around you who don't believe in it and all, and just ne get rid of them and surround yourself with positive, supportive people yes. who will help you get through this process yes. because it is a process it is. And, it, and it's going to take time to get through it and you're going to need though you're going to need some people to help lift you up and encourage you every day yes. through this through, through this process okay and, and i just want to say you will get through it yes i know it feels like this i'm stuck i will never get through this because that's how i felt i had very dark days it felt mm -hmm. like my life was going to be like this forever <sighs> but you know what God brought me through it. Amen. I got through that. Amen. And I'm standing here able to share with you that you will get through this. Mm -hmm. This too shall pass. Yes. So be encouraged. Be encouraged and know that God got you and he's going to get you through this. Amen. You're going to be all right, girl. Amen. Yes, you are. Five, procrastination. Now, this is one that I struggle with because because being a new mom, you're not going to know everything to do with the baby. Mm -hmm. But if you get behind and allow yourself, you relaxing too much, right. you're going to get off your schedule and you're going to look up and you got 80 bottles need to be washed. Yes. You're going to look up, you got a whole bunch of diapers need to be taken out. You're going to, clothes need to be washed, dishes need to be washed, all the stuff need to be done, dinner need to be made, and you're going to get overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, and you're going to be somewhere crying. So I'm one, I am an advocate. Do not procrastinate. Right. Do not procrastinate. Stay on top of your schedule. Stay on top of your duties. Now, I don't say that to say that it's not okay, you know, if to put some things off if you need to. If you need to put some things off to avoid being overwhelmed, mm -hmm. do that. But at the same time, don't get so lax where you um, put stuff off and then now you got all this stuff to do and now right. you're overwhelmed. No. Stay on the schedule. Relax and make sure you don't get overwhelmed, but don't get lax where you're procrastinating either. Make sure you stay in an even balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. and then, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Last one is do not self-diagnose yourself. Seek medical help. As she said earlier, do not self-diagnose yourself because you are not a doctor and you do not have a doctor's degree. You did not go to school for this. Right. So you don't know. Yes, I know I'm like, oh I know my body on 
No, when you have a baby, your body's going through so many changes that yes. you don't know your body anymore. I'm still trying to understand my body, and I, my baby, you're gonna be one. I got a two year old and a one year old, and I'm still trying to understand my body. Right. Again. Your body goes through so many changes. So, many. so do not diagnose yourself. Go seek medical help. If you feel like you are dealing with any of the things that we discussed in this video, seek medical help. We cannot say that. I cannot stress that enough. Yes. Because I'm from the traditional church and I know, you know, how they teach us and I know what they would say, but I'm telling you, seek medical help. When I tell you it can be a blessing to you. Yes. Seek medical help. Yeah. All right, moms. That's all we have for today. I first have to thank my mommy for coming today and giving us, dispensing all of her wonderful wisdom and all of her wonderful knowledge on us. Wow. She is my jewel. I don't know if I could have even gotten through having my kids without her. So I am so appreciative that she came and was able to give you all some information. I hope you learned a lot. And she said, if you have any questions. you have any questions, or maybe you just want a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe I didn't talk about something that you would like to talk about, email me at ingerdunn, that's I-N-G-E-R, dunn, D-U-N-N, at bellsouth.net. Yes. And I will be glad to, you know, email you back and just converse back and forth with you because I understand, I feel your pain, mm -hmm. and I want you to know that you will get through this. Yes. And I, her email is going to be on the bottom of the screen. And also, if you do email her, just put in the subject line, hashtag mommy questions. Okay? So that way she'll know she's, she's booked, she's busy, she gets a lot of emails. Okay? So that way she knows that it's from the mommy behind the music blog yeah. um, questions. Okay? Hashtag mommy questions. Okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click it, click it, click it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? And like I say every single time, if your kids haven't told you today, you are a great mom. Yes, you are. And they appreciate all that you do. Oh, You're a great mom, mommy. Thank you, sweetie. You and are I too. appreciate all that you I do. I think you are a fabulous mom. Thank you. Blush, blush, blush. And do not forget, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up they will. and call her blessed. They will. Okay? You all have a good one. Thank you all for watching. You love so How do you do? Tell me how one.